The gender gap in computer science and engineering has been a persistent issue for decades. While recent progress at elite universities offers a glimmer of hope, a troubling trend emerges elsewhere. Gender representation in these critical fields is worsening at many other institutions. This stark divide raises urgent questions about the accessibility and inclusivity of technical education globally. Top-tier universities are making significant strides in closing the gender gap. For example, MIT reported that 48% of its 2024 incoming computer science students were women, nearly achieving gender parity. Stanford and Harvard are following close behind, with women comprising 42% and 40% of their respective computer science cohorts. Such progress isn't accidental. Elite universities have invested heavily in initiatives to attract and retain women in STEM. These include scholarships, mentorship programs, and outreach efforts targeting high school students. Additionally, role models like Fei Fei Li, a pioneer in AI research, and Reshma Saujani, founder of Girls Who Code, have inspired countless young women to pursue careers in tech. The payoff is clear, more diverse classrooms, broader perspectives in problem solving, and an expanding pool of female leaders in a traditionally male-dominated industry. However, the story outside elite institutions is far less encouraging. In the United States, women earned just 22% of computer science degrees in 2023, a drop from 27% in 2000. The situation is even worse at non-elite universities, where female enrollment in computer science and engineering programs has stagnated or declined in recent years. Globally, the picture is no brighter. In developing countries, where access to higher education remains a challenge, women are vastly underrepresented in technical fields. In India, for instance, the percentage of women in engineering programs fell from 29% in 2010 to 22% in 2022. The diverging trends between elite and non-elite institutions can be attributed to several factors. Resource allocation. Elite universities have the financial resources to fund gender equity programs, while smaller institutions often struggle to prioritize such initiatives. Cultural barriers. In many regions, societal norms discourage women from pursuing STEM fields, reinforcing the perception that these careers are for men. Pipeline issues. High schools in underserved areas frequently lack advanced STEM courses and role models, depriving girls of early exposure to technical subjects. Hostile environments. Research shows that women in male-dominated classrooms often face microaggressions and implicit biases, making it harder for them to persist in these fields. The gender imbalance in computer science and engineering is more than a moral issue. It has profound economic and societal implications. A 2022 McKinsey report estimated that achieving gender parity in the tech workforce could add $12 trillion to the global GDP by 2030. Diverse teams are also known to perform better. A 2018 Harvard Business Review study found that companies with more gender-diverse teams were 21% more likely to outperform their peers in profitability. Yet, as the gender gap widens outside elite universities, the tech industry risks becoming even less representative of the populations it serves. Reversing the decline in gender balance at non-elite institutions requires a multi-pronged approach. Expand outreach. Governments and non-profits must invest in STEM education for girls in underserved communities. Initiatives like Girls Who Code and India's STEM Star Program are steps in the right direction. Create inclusive environments. Universities need to address classroom dynamics 
train faculty on unconscious bias and establish zero tolerance policies for discrimination. Increase funding. Scholarships and grants targeted at women in STEM can make higher education more accessible. Promote role models. Highlighting the achievements of female engineers and computer scientists can inspire the next generation. The progress at elite universities shows that change is possible, but it also highlights the urgent need to extend these successes to a broader audience. Without action, the world risks entrenching inequities in fields that will define the future. The stakes couldn't be higher. Achieving gender balance in computer science and engineering isn't just about fairness. It's about building a better, more innovative world for everyone. Will we rise to the challenge? Comment and subscribe if you like this video.